Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. So today we are going to be scrapbooking, I believe this was from day 24, and it looks like it's on like a softer background. They've got it on a grid background, and then they have one photo with a lot of layers, and it looks like there's a little mixed media in both the, the embellishment clusters. So I went through and was kind of looking for um, something that I could use that I would want to layer up. And I found, hang on one second, this paper here. Now this paper came out of a Park Lane paper pad. And, um, nope, it wasn't that one. It was called Sophisticated Neutrals. And so for my layers, I will probably go through and grab several different kinds from this paper, trying to keep it more to the soft colors versus um, going with the hard colors. I am going to be scrapbooking this picture of my great-grandmother. Um, this was one of the ladies that I talked about that helped to um, fight for women's rights to vote along with her daughter and then pass that love of um, patriotism, I wanna say, to my mom. So I wanna make sure that I document her. She was my grandfather's mom. So I wanna um, kind of tell that story. What I, what I looked at in the sketch was they had like a little floral element here and another one here and then all the tags and frames. So on my desk from a previous layout that I did about my son and daughter-in-law-to-be, I had these that I had fussy cut out, and they came from the Park Lane um, Summer's End paper pad. And I really love these florals. However, they've got a little bit of the aqua in there that I could not cut out because it's part of it. So I knew I needed to pull some of this aqua color in. And so out of this paper pad, one of the layers that I'm gonna use is going to be this one here. And it's even got some of the pink um, in here so that I'll have the background be this pink. So I'll have a floral element down here, another one up in the corner like the sketch. Her picture will be here. And then I will do a lot of layers. Um, and so one of the layers will be with this aqua paper to kind of pull that in. Now, this is the Park Lane paper pads. And both of the Park Lane paper pads have the hangy hole. And neither one of them are above the 12 inch mark. So I am going to have to mat this. And I'm debating. I may go with black or white I'm not positive I'm thinking leaning towards white only because I do want to be a little bit softer but the pop of black would kind of give that vintage look so here's what the black would look like and then maybe um, one of the layers of the picture be black and everything else be the softer colors or I could go with the white if I go with white, it's going to be more of a washed look. And I think I kind of like, well, the other option I have too, let me move this one out of the way. The other option I would have too is if I went and double matted. So I could actually go and mat one layer with the aqua around it just very thin and then the pink and then either have it on the white or have it on the black and I think I kind of like it on the black it really pops off of that and I think that will emphasize the softness of the other elements of the paper and then it also accents the black and white part of it so I think that's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause. I'm going to double mat this um, down so that I have the pink with a small mat of the teal and then on black. 
I will mat the picture on the black and the teal and um, see about pulling out some layers. So let me put you on pause and I will be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and double matted it and I really like how this looks. Um, it just gives a little bit of a pop of color, pulls in the black and the pink. So now I grabbed out my, um, this is Heidi Swapped um, Color Shine in Sweet Mint. And I thought the color was pretty close to this. It's a little bit darker, but I'm hoping as it spreads and dries, it will be a little bit lighter. But I'm just going to do a little bit around where um, both of the... Um, <clears throat> belt where the photo and that embellishment cluster will be. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my packaging and do the smushing technique. And let's see here. And I'm still going to do a lot more layers, but I, th I thought you'd like to see a little bit of the mixed media part of it. So if I have it there, I'll start with this up here since I already got a um, a little smudge. Yeah, it's not too bad of a color. So hopefully everybody enjoyed the 30 days of sketches. I just thought it was fantastic. Um, so appreciate Christy for putting this on and allowing so many people to participate in it. Um, it really has opened it up to where it's fun to see all the different interpretations of the sketch and how people are viewing it. All right, so I'm going to put a little down here. Let me just see. So if that's there. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more up above. So I've, after this one, I'll have three more to do. So hopefully, like I said, by Saturday, I should have the rest of them done. And then I'm getting ready for um, doing my planning for my um, Build-A-Page. that will be the third week in April. So excited about that. And Christy's actually going to join us for the Build-A-Page series. So that should be fun. All right, let me try going a little higher because the picture's a little bit bigger. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I need a little more in this corner and then up here. It's funny, when you're putting this on, you, you tend to think like, oh my goodness, there's so much. And then when you actually go and put the photo over the top of it, it actually covers up quite a bit of it so it's not as severe as you thought all right so there's that so that's good around the photo I think I need a little bit more here and then we're gonna call that good but again we're gonna have more layers so it's still less will show once I get all the layers on And I'm also going to sprinkle it or splatter it. And a little up at the top. My cat's back in the room again, and he's been acting very needy this morning. So I don't know if you guys noticed his tail earlier. So if he hops back on here, he's having issues this morning. All right. So I think that's just enough for that to peek through. This will be good with the layers. And then actually if I pull this over more like that all right and then like I said I'll still be building a lot more on top of it 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put you on pause. I'm gonna try and build up my layers, let this dry, and I'm gonna splatter it, and then we'll be back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've gotten a lot of layers on my picture. So I found um, like a kind of a grayish one, a floral, and then another gray. And then they had this um, border strip paper. And what I ended up doing was fussy cutting these flowers out. And I put them along here as another layer and then tucked in a doily. So I really like how that looked. And then I've got the two flower clusters down. Now, because this is a heritage picture, I don't want to go and fluff it up with a lot of stuff on it. I want the picture to stand up on its own. And um, so I'm probably not going to add much more. Now, it does call for a title to go up here. Um, I probably won't do anything because I think this cluster right here is good enough as it is. However, I will probably off camera um, put her name here so that um, I have it in my book. Now, the other thing I grabbed was this washi tape that I got from the farm market Echo um, Cartabella kit that was with the kit club this month for Echo Park. And so I thought I could take some of this and just rip it and then put it in between a couple of the layers because it does have some of these um, colors. It's got a little bit of the black, a little bit of teal, some pink, a little bit of the green. And I like that look. So I'm just going to tear off just a little and maybe tuck it in right up here. With just a little pop of color and then I'm going to put some at the bottom. like that. Um, then I did grab out, I have this um, journaling card and they have one here and then they have a tab up here and I don't know if I'm debating. I think I might cut this in half. I was thinking about maybe putting half like under here just as a layer and then doing the other part under here. Let me get a little bit more off. And I can put some twine in it. So I like that. Actually, what I could do... is make this into a tag as well. So I'm just using tag as the um, guide. Poke a hole in it. And now one tag has become two. So we'll go ahead and put the one here. And now the other one will go up here. And again, they'll both have twine coming out of it. So I like that. And here. I just need it up high enough that you'll be able to see the twine peeking out. All right. So then the other thing I grabbed out of my secret, secret, or no, the, out of my, um, not just for boys kit club. I grabbed out um, my sequins and I'm just going to use the teal color. These are really cool. They've got wood grain. They've Actually, they've got some gray wood grain in here too and a little bit of white. So I thought I could sprinkle some of these around. So let me get my um, adhesive here. This was an add-on for the Not Just For Boys Kit Club and I want to say this little jar was maybe three dollars and it's a neat little mixture of um, colors 
I'm not positive on how I feel about the wood grain gray. I think the colors would work. I'm just not sure. They kind of look a little zebra stripe, and I'm not sure how on this layout that would look. So I might hold off on that. I just want to have a little sprinkling of these just to give it a little shimmer. And let's see. I was going to try and use this one tag that I have here, but it just wouldn't, it's kind of going the wrong way. So I'm going to hold off on that one. Oops. I need me a little poker tool. And again, it doesn't need a whole lot, just a little bit to add a little color. And it just pops that teal out even more. Yep. I'm getting more than one. Okay, this pink one really likes me. It doesn't want to let go. Let go, buddy. It's got some static going. And I'll just do a little here. A little here. A little here. Maybe a little up here. I think, yep, that was two of them. I think this is about it. So I'm happy with how this one turned out. Um, I'm going to try and get another one done today and possibly two more done tomorrow. Like I said, I'd like to be all caught up and have all 30 of them done over the weekend. So that's my plan anyways. There we go. I think I need another couple over here. Just to give it a little bit more. And this is just, um, it's a quick stick. This was by Quick Cuts. I've had this forever. I actually bought it when, um, what is that scrapbook store that closed that I loved? Um, they were at Mall of America too. Oh, I'm having a brain freeze. Y'all know, if you ever been to Mall of America and the scrapbooking store, it was the, I was so sad when they closed. But anyways, I got it there years ago and it still works great so all right everybody i'm gonna call this one done and like i said um stop back in a little bit and we will have um another layout and like i said i'm probably just gonna put my grandmother's name either here or here just to finish it off but i'm gonna do that off camera so thank you so much for watching and we will see you again for layout number 25, I believe.